In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sew together our lounge sweatshirt in both the separate sleeve version here and the all-in-one sleeve version here. I'm going to start this tutorial with the separate sleeved version of the lounge sweatshirt. Um, if you did the all-in-one version, just skip ahead to that fabric cutting stage. So for the separate sleeve version, you're going to cut the front and the back and the sleeve all on the fold. To start this one, you're going to open the front and back and place them right sides together and serge the shoulders closed. Open the sweatshirt up now. And these will be your sleeve armholes right here. So you'll take your sleeve and place it right sides together and pin the notch on the cap to the shoulder seam. And do the same thing for the other side. And then you'll just sew that shoulder cap to the armhole from side seam to side seam. With your sleeves attached now, you'll just fold your sweatshirt in half to line up the side seams and then serge the side seams closed from the sleeve to the waist. I'm going to cut out the fabric for the all-in-one version now. So here you'll match the front and the back right sides together and you'll line up the shoulders and the side seams. And you'll serge the whole sleeve on both sides and both side seams together now. Regardless of which version you sewed, we're just going to finish them the same. That's by placing the waistband, the cuffs, and the neckband. So take your bands and you'll fold them all in half. And you'll serge all of the ends closed. So with your neckband piece, you'll want to find that opposite end, which would be the center, and clip little notches to mark it. And you can start with any of the pieces, but you're going, I'll start with the neckband, and I'll fold it in half so that the wrong sides are together. 
and you'll take your whichever version you did with it inside out you'll place the neck band inside the neck hole and pin the neck band seam to the center back notch on the neck hole and pin that center front notch to the center front of the neck hole. And then you will just stretch that neck band to fit and serge it on all the way around. Next, we'll do our wrist cuffs, and those get folded the same. Just fold them in half so the wrong sides are together, and you form that cuff. And then you'll place that cuff inside the end of the sleeve with the folded edge inside, and that seam should be either to the back or lined up with that side seam. And then you'll just Stretch it gently to fit and then serge it on all the way around for both sleeves. After the sleeve cuffs are on, then we will move to the waistband. So your waistband gets folded the same way so the wrong sides are together. And then it gets placed inside the waist and you'll match that center notch to the front uh, center notch. And then the center back seam to the center back of the waist. And this one also gets stretched evenly and surged on all the way around. After you have all your bands on, then turn the sweatshirt to the right side. And if you have a top stitch machine, you can top stitch the neck band, or you can use a double needle to top stitch it. Um, but I like to leave the waist and the sleeves just as is. So I'll show you my cover stitch top stitch for the neck band. So after you top stitch the neck band, if you choose to, then your sweatshirt's done and you just need to iron it or steam it.